The first thing you're going to need to do is using your three millimeter Allen key, completely remove your lever from your handlebars. After you've removed your lever, go ahead and completely remove your cable from the housing. After you've removed your lever from your handlebars and your cable from the housing, go ahead and slide your cable through the kink guard with the small side towards the lever. And then go ahead and reinsert your cable into the housing. After you've reinserted the cable into the housing, just let the lever gently hang there. We need it removed from the handlebar for the next few steps. After you've reinserted your cable, go ahead and go to the bottom of your bike and remove these two screws. Be sure not to lose them. Removing these two screws will give you access to the bottom of the cable holder and make the cable a lot easier to slide in and out. After we've loosened the two bolts on the bottom of the bike, we're gonna go ahead and pull on this housing so that we have enough slack to allow the housing to poke out of the seat post hole. The next part of the install will take place at the bottom of the seat post. Take your barrel nut, slide it into the latch with the hole facing down, and then take your cable and hook it into the hole. Pull down on the latch and slide the cable up through the hole. After you have your cable through the hole, go ahead and pull the cable out so you have access to the end of it. Slide your housing up so it is seated securely in the bottom of the seat post and pull your cable tight. After you've made sure your cable is completely seated in the bottom of the seat post and in your lever, you're going to rip the cable again tight. Come to the side and tighten down your cable using a two millimeter Allen key. Make sure that your latch isn't pulled down. So this will activate the seat post and make it so the install is unsuccessful. Now that we've tightened down our cable, we can go ahead and reinstall the seat post. Pull down on this housing as we lower it into down tube and then clamp down on your post. Once you've gotten it clamped down, go ahead and push down on the seat post. If it doesn't move, then that means you've done the tightening process correct and the latch is not activated. And you can move forward with your install. Now that we've secured our seat post, we need to get the slack out of the housing. So we're gonna go and pull up on this and slide it back into the frame, giving us enough room to reattach our lever to our handlebars. We recommend that you take this extra bit of housing and push it back behind the motor right here to make sure it's out of the way. After you've gotten all the slack out of your housing, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our lever back onto our handlebars, being sure not to pinch the electrical wire that's going to your controller unit. Slide your Allen bolt back in and tighten it down once again, using your three millimeter Allen key. If you do have a small amount of play in your cable, you can alleviate that by using the two barrel adjusters located here and here. Just twist them and they will tighten up your cable, removing that looseness. 
we are going to reinsert the two screws that hold up this case, holding your cables in place. And last but not least, we're gonna make sure the install was successful. We're gonna press down the lever, push down on your seat post and release the lever. If it's done correctly, your seat post will stay down until you press the lever again and it will return back to place. I hope this was helpful and everyone is enjoying their 2022 Cyberbikes. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to help. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.